We've been able to uh, grab some lights and, and record them into a whole bunch of cues. Yes, OK, we've done our plotting session. Now, what typically happens after you've um, plotted a sequence of cues like this is that you tend to run it. Now, we can jump to another cue by, um, for example, I, I can double click on one here. If I double click on that, it actually, it's as if I've hit go to that cue. Or double click on six, it's like I've hit um, jump to that queue, all right? Or on the uh, hardware here, I've got conveniently located just next to the keypad, I've got a button here that says go to. So I could type go to one, enter. And on the screen, you can see that it's jumped to go to one. Now I'll do it again, this time watch the screen. I'm gonna jump to um, go to five, for example. Now on my, um, uh, soft keys here, I've got a couple of extra bits and pieces that I can do. So I can tell it to go, you know what, go to five in time five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Wonderful. All right, look at that. She's gone in in the time that I've happened to have just typed in in that moment. Very useful if uh, uh, you or the stage manager gets a little bit dopey and, and misses a whole bunch of cues, you can subtly move to where you're actually meant to be in the cue list uh, by just typing in the time. Uh, of course you can also type uh, go to, or go back to one again, but this time I'll go uh, in recorded time, which is S. 12. So what that does is it picks in, picks up the recorded time and runs it in that time. So it's the recorded time of the queue that you're heading to that will actually count down. Now um, another little feature of the, uh, the 500 console, you're travelling through the show, oh dear, you know that the actors have missed a whole bunch of dialogue. You can't change the lights right now, but you know that the next queue really should be Q8. So what we're going to do is we're going to type on uh, my hardware, you'll see what I'm going to do, there's a button here marked Q. I'm going to type Q8. Now as soon as I've typed those two numbers on the display, you'll see there's a cheeky little button there that says Run Next. Now what it does, I've hit Run Next, it's reasserted Q4, that's what the flashing was just a second ago, so nothing's actually changed on the stage. But you can see this Q, Q4, next Q, Q8. So when I hit go, we go to Q8 in the time that Q8 wanted to run. So uh, that is one of those features that uh, is uh, used quite extensively on, on the 300 and 500 consoles by operators that actually understand how to load queues into the pro into the um, into the X programmer and, and get it ready to roll. All right, so we're running queues. We can run queues. We can hit go. Yes, go moves the the uh, the line further and further down the page. Step um, is moving it back up, and the the step function. You can go step forward or step back. What it actually does is it's just moving over one second. So regardless of what time is actually in the queue time column. It's just going to do it over one second, and that's so that we don't um, blow any lamps by snapping them to full.